Radio Sweden Swedish, Veriges Radio International is Sweden's official international broadcasting station. It is a non-commercial and politically independent public service broadcasting company. History Senior International is part of Veriges Radio Senior, Sweden's non-commercial public radio broadcasting organisation. The service was founded in 1938, at the approach of World War II, as a way of keeping Swedes living abroad informed of happenings in Sweden and of Swedish opinion. Programming was at first in Swedish only, but in 1939 English and German language broadcasts were added. After the war, further language services were added, in French, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. At the close of the Cold War, the services in French, Portuguese, and Spanish were gradually phased out and replaced by new services in Estonian and Latvian. The latter services were withdrawn once Estonia and Latvia had developed their own independent media and joined the European Union. Radio Sweden also operated a service in Belarusian between 2004 and 2009. In the 1990s Radio Sweden was merged with SR's Immigrant Languages Department to form the Senior International Channel. For a while, immigrant language services, such as those in Arabic and Kurdish, were additionally carried on shortwave. Programming in other languages The Radio Sweden English service seeks to provide a window on the diverse perspectives and issues in Sweden today. Its programs and website offer a smorgasbord of news and current affairs, science and technology, lifestyle, and culture. In the beginning of 2016, the international service underwent a major reorganization. English language news about Sweden for overseas listeners were moved to a 30 minutes a week show on P2 and to social media. Minority Languages Service was further focused on those minorities living in Sweden and integrated with Swedish language services. Service in languages of the oppressed nations, such as Somali, were moved to an independent organization. News for overseas listeners in foreign languages other than English, such as Russian and German, has been cancelled. There have been several foreign Liguges services in the history of Radio Sweden. The German program got disfunct after 76 years of service. Former programs <laughs> Sweden Calling DXERs One of the most popular programs on Radio Sweden was Sweden Calling DXERs, founded in 1948 by Arn Skog. He reasoned that shortwave listening or de-shing was a very young hobby, and that by providing information in a weekly program for shortwave listeners about their hobby, Radio Sweden was teaching its own audience about how to listen better. While the first program was based solely on Arn's own listening, listeners were encouraged to write in with their own news, and soon virtually all of the program was based on listeners' letters an early example of interactivity. The program was carried on Tuesdays in all of Radio Sweden's services except Swedish. When Arnskog retired in connection with the program's 30th anniversary in 1978, the program was taken over by George Wood, a member of the Radio Sweden English service. After a number of years, as media changed, it began to cover less about shortwave, and more about satellite radio and television. Later coverage was extended to the internet, the focus was shifted to concentrating on Swedish media, and the name of the English version of the program was changed to Mediascan. Mediascan was the first English-language radio program in Europe and the second overall in Europe to post audio on the Internet on the FTP sites ftp.funet.fi and ftp.sunnet.se, as well as via Internet multicasting. In 2001 the program was discontinued, but remains in a somewhat sporadic form on the Radio Sweden website. The Saturday Show Another popular Radio Sweden program was The Saturday Show, with Roger Wallace and Kim Lauren, which ran from 1967 to 1981. The program was launched to showcase Swedish rock and pop music in a world dominated by American and British rock. 
Using Radio Sweden's relatively high-powered medium wave transmitter on 1,179 kHz, the entire program was 90 minutes in length, and featured many satirical sketches, often political and sometimes controversial. A 30-minute segment of the entire broadcast was the Radio Sweden shortwave program on Saturdays. End of radio broadcasting On October 20, 2010, Radio Sweden ceased broadcasts on shortwave and medium wave, as Swedish radio's management decided that the Internet had matured enough to support international broadcasts. At the same time the English service was extended to national broadcasts on FM, but programming on weekends was discontinued. Services in English also continue on satellite, both using Swedish television's satellite and the World Radio Network. See also Varigays Radio, the Swedish publicly funded radio broadcaster.